Today I thought I'd make some of my favourite muffins. So as you can see, I've got all the ingredients, pots and pans, scales, and whatever else I'm going to need for the job already set out. Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Psycho Pinball on the Sega Mega Drive. And this is actually one of only a handful of games that I originally owned back in the day where I still have the copy that I bought back then. So when you're actually good at the game, you can go on the multi-table and you know you can get linked to all these other tables. But I'm just going to play them individually just so we get a chance to see them. Now for me this game is very it holds a lot of nostalgic memories. I actually pay the asking price of $39.99, reduced from $44.99 for this. I have to say I wasn't disappointed. Now I hear this game get quite a slating sometimes on YouTube. And I think it's pretty uncalled for because there is actually a really decent pinball game here. Coming off the back of things like Pinball Dreams and Pinball Fantasy on the Amiga, this was more than comparable I think on the Mega Drive. And certainly me and my friends love playing this, you stick in four player mode, you know. Take it in turns, sort of high score chasing. There's so much to like about it. I love the sort of faux LED LCD display there. Really do like that. And I love some of the extra little mini games and things you get. Even like side scrolling levels on the Wild West one, you can run along a train and see sort of like. I'm not sure what sort of animal it is. It looks like some sort of anteater or something, but I'm sure it's not quite that. So you've also got, what you do on any good pinball table, you know, other things to be chasing after. So at the minute, the, oh dear, at the minute I did have a treasure bonus. Probably gone there. Hopefully you can hear a bit of this sort of music playing because I think it's got some strong music in this game. It certainly suits the themes of all the tables I feel. And this game is surprisingly cheap on eBay, even with the cover slip, which I thought, even when I bought it back in the 90s, I thought. You know, there won't be many copies of this left with the cover slip. Because no one I knew really looked after the stuff they bought, especially gaming wise. And I always really took great care of mine, but it's common place on eBay with a cover slip for about six quid delivered, six to eight quid. So, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. I would avoid anything anyone has to say negative about this game because I think they're completely incorrect. I think in the form of traditional ish pinball, this is probably the best one on the Mega Drive. If you want to talk about the best pinball game, perhaps you could argue it's Devil Crash. Which, you know, I could totally could totally see that, but that is a bit of a strange pinball game. Oh dear. Should we give the table a bit of a rock? So there we go, I think we'll just move on to another table now. So we'll go to the Wild West. We can, we can Wild Wild West, why not? Here we go. Check out that music. Right on partners. Never been very good at pinball. I've played a few tables over the years, certainly ones that are in pubs and things like that. Never been a pinball wizard per se. I find it difficult to hit one flipper at a time. I'm never able to commit that deeply to it. I think that's the difference to a mere mortal and a pinball wizard. 
I like these little side shots you get. Again, I mean, these, these tables are really well thought out. I, they do feel like proper pinball tables, in my opinion, my limited pinball uh, playing experience. Yes, ride the rodeo. Ten grand straight away in your hand. Oh, and the ball's gone. Hanging from the noose. Not a little uh, gunshot there as well. Blackjack, in we go. Come on then. Six and three, hit or stick. You've got to hit, haven't you, really? Five. Okay, who's the mathematician here? Are we in trouble yet? 11, 17, 20. I'm going to stick at that. 20. A million points. That's the way he likes to go in poker. When it comes to say, we'll a pair of sevens or four outs. Oh dear. Guess I had a pair of sevens. And you're out of there. So we'll have a look at the other table. Quickly. Plays perfectly at 60 hertz as well this game, I may add. I'd have started up in 60 hertz Japanese mode. No issues at all. Here we go. Trick or treat. In we go. Tom of Toad. Whatever that means. I mean, I think I bought this game really on the back of it being published by Codemasters at the time, you know, the Micro Machine series. It was just a sign of quality. That's such a run of good games. And I think this is very well crafted and thought out. I think it's a massive shame actually that Codemasters, as far as I'm aware, haven't made any more pinball games. Certainly as far as ball exits go. Probably not so highly regarded in that fact in that sort of manner. Still not bad. Certainly closer to the mark than the uh, pinball table in Zany Golf. I've got to light the, light the cat to activate the broomstick. Someone somewhere knows what that's all about. Go on. No, it's still not doing any good. It's just a shot that's no good, that. Ball one is locked. I'm seeing a multi ball possibility for Mount in here. Can you contain your excitement? Still good on that useless play there. That's not lit. That's no good. That's no good. One ball two locked. I think the fun's about to begin. How awesome it's happened! It's amazing. Oh, wasn't quite a sweet shot there. Here we go into that top section. Hair of rat. Why not? Like the cap to activate broom ride with the pit of doom. Is it going to be something I'm going to see or not? Go 
Go on, ball three locked. Here we go, multi ball. Shoot chimney to light a jackpot. We've got balls everywhere. Lost the ball. Got to sort of get fired back out or oh, back. I've no idea where this chimney is. To keep talking about. I'm sensing a little bit of a slowdown effect here with all these balls on the screen at once. The maze is lit. Jackpot 7 million, did I just get that? I don't, oh, I don't know if I did. That was just uh, some sort of information. I think the multi ball period has ended now, then. Well, that was some excitement, I tell you. All the way up. Up we go. All unlocked. They've got the multi ball on this table. Maze. We're on the way with the maze. Shoot, that's, shoot the cellar. Oh, that's, I've made that shot a few times. I've made it. Set a surprise. Haunt the house. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't tell me I've lost all my balls on Haunt the house. Don't know if I've lost that exclusive Haunt the house offer now. Fear of my health. Swing with pinball. You just get the table going and then you lose your ball and you've lost everything. What's a rather noisy, isn't it? Pinball. Not really something I think my neighbours would appreciate if I had my own pinball table. I've heard they also take quite a lot of maintenance. So, probably, probably not the best idea. There we go, I think that's going to be me out of balls. So, yeah, Psycho Pinball. I would totally recommend it. I would suggest picking it up if you're into Sega Mega Drive or collecting games or just check it out, you know, on whatever means you, uh, you like to check these games out. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll learn some more videos soon.